So the new update of Project Elixir version 3.5 is here with the latest security patch, the new year security patch, the changes and change log everything what is included, what is not, which are the things good, which are not good, everything in this video I'll talk about. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. I'm talking about the latest Android version which is Android 13 while making this video and this is the version version 3.5 one thing i will share with you so stay tuned i mean i will share a lot of things but one thing is a little bit interesting so i will suggest you to watch this video till the end for very interesting things first of all of course it's not a big deal but yes i think i have to show you the new wallpaper is there it's not the previous one in version 3.4 or maybe other versions did not include this wallpaper the new in the new wallpaper is included with this new update secondly the default launcher is not actually changed the version 3.4 was also with this same kind of launcher but the ui is a bit changed you can see the card style ui is introduced with this default launcher all the features and the customizations are just kind of same i mean home screen is having the same options at a glance etc it's not like the other other custom rooms launchers like spark os rice Royd. those are having the extended at a glance option which is not present in this but it's good enough we are having almost every feature which you definitely need hidden and protected apps feature is also there and this is the recent ui if you want to take a look at you can see the ram information is also present at the bottom of these options so this is what we have this is the default launcher features are just kind of same ui is bit changed you just noticed and this is the app lock which is also there if you were not able to find this this is available in this default launcher named as hidden and protected apps one more thing which i found here is this battery graph ui it's a bit changed i think so it was not like this in the previous update i think so i'm not sure but i think so and uh, this is also a new thing also battery temperature is already there you can see the battery usage from the last full charge except the other custom homes this custom home is not giving the option to see if you want to take a look at the battery usage from the last 24 hours it's only last full charge okay so that's just okay one more thing which i found after installing this thing is the reticker notifications reticker notifications are a very good kind of ui things i mean i love to use these notification styles if you're bored with your heads up notifications you can simply try out this thing these are slim and less invasive version of uh, the reticker notifications by the way if you need this thing you can enable by the way this is available as an option so if you don't want to use this thing simply skip it's nothing to worry about customization things just kind of same one thing let me show you what i was talking about at the starting of this this version includes some lock screen clock options but if you're not able to find here those are paid those are actually paid if you're able to notice theming and theming or lock screen is having theming is having lock screen clock option which is not present so if you're not paid user you will not get those lock screen clocks gestures just kind of same where you can simply use and see and explore same kind of options gesture navigation gestures are just kind of same no major changes to be honest just basic same things and this is what we have one more thing is ota if you are one of the users who want to use a custom room with ota support i mean you want to update your custom room through ota then you can try this project elixir custom room too because i don't use custom rooms with ota i mean i never updated a custom room through ota but if you want to you can and you can check out if you want to use a new update as soon as it is possible before public you need to pay some things some rupees some dollars to the developer and you can explore those things other than else just basic customization things are present like the previous one like it is having this background chip in clock status bar clock if you are able to notice the background chip is there which is kind of same with corvus os but it's not exactly like that you need to maybe rethink about this you need to do some changes here i'm not sure about that all the things are basically same these are the things but we have some status bar customizations as expectedly one more thing which i found after installing wallpapers after installing this custom home is custom themed icons maybe mm -hmm. it's not new thing it's of course present in the previous updates too but if i were not able to show if i was not able to show in the previous updates this is there this is here so if you want to use a custom themed icons lawn icons and theme files icons maybe rk icons etc you can use that custom themed icons but other than else theming etc customizations i've already shown you 
not so major changes but one major thing was lock screen clock which is unfortunately not available for the free users so this is what we have this is about today's short and simple video if you want to install and use this thing link is available in the description also if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe this because a lot of customer videos are there and make sure to subscribe the channel before watching this thing i'll see you goodbye